all right guys and girls so so far we have learned how to query only one table in all our examples we focused on the table customers we done selects where we filter the data and so on but that was only one table in real life scenarios you will be working with a real database that contains a lot of different tables and once you start writing sql statements you will be end up querying not only one table but maybe multiple table in order to get something meaningful of the data so that means you need to start learning how to combine different tables how to join those tables together in one sql statement this is very important in order to learn sql because once you master this, you will be good in SQL. Now, in our tutorial database, we will be working now with two tables, the customers and the orders. In the orders, you can see which customer did place which order. So now, in order to join those two tables, you have to specify two things. First, you need to determine what is the join key. So a join key, it is like a column that exists in both of the tables. For example, the customer ID, we can see it here in the customers and as well in the orders. So that means the customer ID is good candidate in order to join those tables and it's going to be our join key. The second thing that you need to specify is the type of the join. In SQL, we have four different types of joins. We have the inner join, left join, right join and full join. It might be complicated at the start, but don't worry about it. I'm going to explain all of those types step by step with examples. I'm going to show you as well how SQL works with those types. All right, so now let's start with the first type of joins. We have the inner join. The inner join, it is the most commonly used type of joins between developers. I as well tend to use a lot of inner joins in my SQL statements. So it is widely spread to use inner joins. So in SQL, there is very important aspect that you need to understand once you work with SQL joins. And that is in SQL, there is always a left table and a right table. And that's really depend how you are writing the script. You, we will see that in the examples. So in the SQL joins, there is the left table. We have the customers and the right table. It is the orders. In the inner join, it doesn't matter because in the result, once you are using inner join, only the matching rows will be presented at the result. So if you use inner join, you will exclude all those results that are not matching and you will see at the result only the matching rows between those two tables. Okay, now to the second type of joins, we have the left join. As the name says, it is a left join. That means we are depending on the left table more than to the right table. So once you are specifying the left join in your SQL script, you are telling the database or SQL that I want everything, all the rows from the left table and from the right table, only the matching rows. So once you are saying, okay, left join, that means you will find all the records from left and only the matching rows from the right side. So let's go to the next one. We have the right join. It is exactly the opposite. So you are saying here in your SQL script, right join, you are depending completely on the right table. So that means once you write that in your script, the SQL will present all the records from the right table in the results and from the left table, only the matching records, only the matching rows. So it's really the way opposite as the left join. Then we have the last type of joins, we have the full join. Once you say in your script, I want to have full join, that means you want everything from both of the tables. That means from the left table, it's gonna retain all the rows. From the right table, you will get as well all the rows. So with full join, as the name says, it is everything. All right, so with that, we have an overview about the joins. And now before we start talking about the first type, the inner join, we will learn quickly about the SQL aliases. It's like hidden tutorial, not on the roadmap, but we have to learn it before we start writing SQL joins. And in the video description, you will find a link to free SQL materials, like the database and the data of this tutorial, the SQL sheet sheet, and as well, all the presentations. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.